Hello, my friends. Today we're talking about network marketing. There's been a few people join the group that are totally new to network marketing. So welcome to the group. Well, welcome to the family. Welcome to the industry. This is a challenging time for people that want to do things wrong. So I'm going to save you that challenge. I'm going to save you that bother. I'm going to give you some tips, some pointers, some basics to keep in mind on how to be the most effective, least frustrated network marketer as you start and progress so welcome and of course what are you going to sell and how are you going to collect your money and how much time can you put in and don't start with google or excuse me facebook ads or any any ads right away understand that there's a lot of details there's a lot of components there's a lot of things to do there's a lot of things to get right but you can do it and I'm glad that you've chosen to be in my group with this family to learn network marketing because there's a lot of network marketers in here. There's a lot of different industries represented in this group and everybody is more than willing to help you, not just me. So if I confuse you, which I hope I don't do, or if I leave you in a place where you're thinking, oh, maybe I want to ask someone else for some assistance or for some guidance, by all means, step up and ask those people in the group. Google search. There's lots of different places. I, I'm not sure what your skills and abilities are with respect to now that you're starting your network marketing career. But understand that the first thing you're going to do is use a device. So which device are you going to use? You can do this on a tablet. You can do this on a phone it's much easier on a computer or a laptop. There are things on computers and laptops as aspects of usage that are not available on phones and tablets. Just keep that in mind as you move forward. You're far better off with as much real estate as you can manage. Now, when I say real estate, if you want to struggle or if you want to do it easy, there's choices to be made. Understand that real estate and when i say real estate i'm talking about screen space the more screens you work with the bigger the screens you have the more opportunity you have to spread your work out and be more efficient if you're trying to do everything on one screen it's extremely difficult it can be a huge challenge it can really be frustrating because you can lose the tabs you can lose the opportunities you're not sure where you are and you're always skipping back and forth trying to find out what it was you were just doing because it's not just one thing. There's always something to do. You're creating content, you're networking, you're reaching out to people, you're, you're researching things possibly on YouTube or, or Facebook is also another great resource for you to find uh, information. Search Facebook is a massively good search engine. So there's three top search engines. There's Google, YouTube, Facebook. Uh, work with that, understand that you need to understand who you're trying to reach out to. So now we're into your market. Who are you selling to? That's called your niche. You need to decide not only what are you selling, but who are you selling it to? So uh, I'll back up a bit and I'll go further into the who, or excuse me, what are you selling? And that is, do you have a product to sell? Do you, are you gonna be an affiliate marketer? Are, are you gonna sell your own product? What is it that you're going to sell? Are you going to sell on Amazon? Where are you going to sell? Are, are you going to be a drop shipper, which is a challenge? And, and there's all kinds of different stuff. So I'm only going through the basics here. Reach out to me. Ask some questions. If you're really not sure, if you're really just tickling this concept, we need to talk. But if you have a better, firmly, a more firmly decided or... Um, more concrete concept idea of what you want to do then that's okay just follow these instructions and move forward but the idea is that you need to know what you're selling you need to be able to collect money and you need to be able to know who you're selling it to so here we go my friends this is the way it works so niching down and I, again i'm just going to be skipping over the the stuff because this is a very deep subject it's going to take you a long time to learn as a beginner 
So, so just be in that place where you understand that this is going to take some time for you to get a grasp on. This is a circumstance that is going to require that you tweak it over and over and over and over again. Every successful entrepreneur online has had to tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak until you get those little details figured out more consistently. But that's okay. That's what it's all about. Don't tell me you've never had a job where you kept learning and getting better. There's always something new to learn. There's always some new way to apply what you know. There's always new tools. And that's the way this industry works. There's a ton of tools out there. Don't get stuck on the tools. Just focus on the fact of what you want to do and keep it simple. Don't get shiny object syndrome where you're skipping and, and just signing up for all these different things. Do a bit of research. There's lots of opportunity to do research and determine what your tools should be or could be. And again, one of the most important things you can do is not only do the research, but ask for help. Find someone that can teach you. Join a group like this. Uh, get a coach or a mentor like me. Find someone that is, is uh, successful and able to, to help to guide you to a place where you are the least amount of frustration and the most amount of success. Because the challenge becomes you want to have fun. You want to enjoy this. Don't turn it into a, a nightmare. Don't turn it into a task that you that you dread. You want to be able to wake up each morning and go, yeah, I get to do this again today. And that's the key factor right there for your mindset. Be in a place where you want to do this, where you feel comfortable doing it, and, and you're enjoying the challenge. If the challenge is, a, is something that just drives you mad, then you're doing the wrong thing or you're doing the right thing the wrong way, one of the two. So when you niche down, that's what your target market is determine who you're going to sell to be specific you can't be in a place where you think you can help everybody you can't do that and be successful because there's too many different kinds of people out there wanting too many different kinds of things you are selling a solution not a product you're networking to people that you can relate to that you can communicate with not everybody so niching down requires that you understand who you're trying to sell to who you're trying to build a relationship with, what it is you're trying to share with them, the, the way you want to communicate with them so that you get like trust, like, like, uh, like, no like and trust, sorry. And uh, you just want to build that up, get to that place where you can be comfortable. Now, you see me, I, I'm just making mistakes here. I, I'm human. You know, I'm getting my tongue cut around my eye teeth. I'm not saying the right things all the time. Go with that. You don't need to be perfect. Be in a place where you're willing to make mistakes. You're willing to seem natural. You're willing to be yourself. That is something that other people will resonate with. And you will find that many people are able to respond to that because they realize, wait a second, he's making mistakes. He's getting his, he's, he's tripping over his words. He's not perfect. I can do this too. And that's a huge thing when you're starting out network marketing is you don't have to be perfect. Messy is better than perfect because if you're worried about perfect, you're never going to do anything and you're never going to put anything out there that makes a difference for you. You're always going to be in a place of what do I do? What do I do? Instead of, ah, I did it. Ah, I did it. So be willing to make mistakes. Make sure you have a mentor, a coach, and a group, and a community that can, you can ask questions to, that you can get help from, and that guides you through what you're trying to do. Affiliate marketing takes a lot of the stress and bother out of what you're trying to do and will give you an opportunity to follow a pattern, a, um, a system, and be in a place where a good affiliate marketing program will have training, will give you a community, will set up a lot of these things for you so that you don't have to struggle with it. All you have to do is focus on what you need to do with respect to niching down. And that means, okay, the idea being that when you're Finding a niche, you're looking for who you want to sell to. When you're niching down, you're narrowing down the group. You're narrowing down the factor of who it is you're communicating with, who, the, who it is you're reaching out to. When you reach out to them, be genuine. Don't just say, hey, here's my link, buy my product. No, it doesn't work that way. You need to reach out to them, friend request them. Now, the best way to do that is to... Consider yourself as your target market. Speak to someone that is just like you. And those are the people that you will attract. Those are the people that you'll be able to communicate with. Those are the people that you'll be able to relate to the best. And you can tweak that as you go. You need to be able to relate to the people. They need to be able to relate to you. 
in order for this to work for what you're trying to do. And this is the way it works, my friends. So you want to get into a place where you're comfortable, where you're happy, where you feel like you're doing the right thing for the right reasons. Now, I said the why, or I mentioned just now the concept of why. You need to know why you're doing this. It has to happen in such a way that you feel comfortable and you know why you're doing it, who you're doing it for, who you're doing it with, what it is you're doing. Get that solidified. Understand that you, you want to start with organic because that's the best way. You're just going to piss money away if you start trying to um, do paid ads right away because you're not going to know what you're doing. You're not going to know the, the systems. You're not going to know the tools. And you're not going to know how to set up a, a market and do an A-B split test and so on and so forth. So just stick with organic marketing for now and, and understand that as you get that nailed, you can start switching to paid ads. So now you've decided what you're going to sell. You've decided why you're going to sell it. You've decided who you're going to sell it to. You've decided what it is you're going to sell. You're in a place now where you can actually start reaching out. So be authentic. Reach out to people that are in groups. Reach out to people that are um, suggested by Facebook. There's lots of different ways to do it. You will get all kinds of different training in the affiliate programs you're in, but you need to understand that there has to be a way to be consistent, to have a pattern, to have a system. And that is very, very important. You can't be skipping all over the place, doing this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You need to be consistent. You need to have a workflow. You need to set up a workstation. Like I mentioned earlier, you want to be on a decent system uh, where you've got lots of real estate, more than one screen if possible. Uh, and in a workstation where you are not being disturbed, where you are uh, being able to be comfortable and focused. And you're just building yourself up. You're building your skills up. You're building the, the rhythm, the habit of what you are doing. And you're being comfortable doing it. And this is the whole idea because you want to have fun. The whole idea is to have fun while you're making money. If you're not having fun, then you're not going to keep doing it. And you're just going to skip around and you're just going to wonder, wait a second, why am I doing this? This isn't working the way I want it to. And this isn't, you know, happening the way I was hoping it would be happening. And you're getting frustrated. So now what you're going to end up with is an opportunity to be in a place of happiness and joy while you're making money. And that's what we want. And that's why we do what we do. Don't worry about how much you're making don't focus on the now there's going to be negativity in there there's going to be people that don't resonate with what you're doing understand who you reached out to that got upset that way and tweak your niche down so that you don't keep reaching out to those people remember what it is you might have done maybe you you did it you, you asked for a meeting or sent them a link too soon reach out with or understand that when you're reaching out you're being genuine, you're being real, you're being yourself. It's like making a friendship. You want to build up some trust, you want to get them to like you, you want to, them to be understanding that they're in a comfortable place with you, and you then want to make sure that they have a problem you can solve. This is the all about network marketing is you're solving a problem, not selling a product. So keep that in mind, my friends. This is just a quick basic blurb through. There's lots of people in the group that are experienced that are not going to bother listening to this video. That's okay. This video is for the inexperienced beginner, for someone that isn't sure what they want to do. And I'm not giving you too much information, and I'm just kind of skipping through from the top of my head. The whole idea is get some help. Get some guidance. Find someone that can coach you, a mentor. Reach out to me, obviously, because you're in this group and you're doing this. You're here asking me questions. And the reason that I'm doing this is because many of you, as you came into the group, said, I want to learn how to be a network marketer. I want to learn how to market a product online. So this is why I'm sharing this video with you now. So be in a place of curiosity. Be in a place of genuine joy. Understand that you're doing this for a reason. You're changing. You're, this is a very likely a side hustle. Uh, hopefully you haven't lost your job and this is a stressful situation for you. Hopefully this is a thing that you are willing to uh, embrace and learn with some with a bit of a relaxed mindset. Uh, you don't want to get into a stressed mindset to do this. And you want to be in a place where you can be comfortable. Having fun is key. 
not being stressed out about it is key. The, the results, it's, it's a numbers game. You're always going to be working at it. You're always going to be uh, changing up what you do to some extent. You're always going to be learning lessons. If you're not researching things, if you're not in a group that's that's offering challenges, and that's something I'm going to do in the next little while is offer some challenges and to uh, give you guys the opportunity, the experienced people as well as the inexperienced people to learn and to, to grow and to build your skills and your business and get in a place where you can level up, get to that next place that really matters. Obviously, you're going to want to be able to receive payments. So you want to make sure that you uh, end up with Stripe and or PayPal or some sort of, of payment structure that allows you to receive money. The affiliate program that you're in will give you an opportunity to receive that, but you still have to go in to a specific tab, a specific portion of the affiliate program and set up your bank account so that you can receive that money. You need to be in a place where you are choosing, are you going to be understand that if uh, you're going to, you know, there's Facebook, there's, there's YouTube, there's all oh, Instagram, there's TikTok, uh, there, and you want to consider Google. I mean, lots of people search out things on Google. Be careful the information you give out because when people search it on Google, they're going to be looking for reasons not to buy. So focus on being positive. Focus on not giving out too much information unless you're giving it out personally. Don't give the person something to search about and then discover that they don't want to have anything to do with you because of negative reviews. Everything has a negative review. Now, speaking of reviews, if you want, are going to be serious about this, you might want to consider being verified on Google. Having your my, Google My Business will uh, verify your business. They will send you a document in the mail with a code. You send the code, you put the code in when you get it, and that verifies your business on Google. And then you can ask for reviews from the people that you speak to that, that like what you're doing. Those reviews will show up when people search you. Very important that people understand that when they search you on, and you understand that when they you're being searched and other people are searching you on Google, they find something positive. As a matter of fact, they find you. If you can't be found on Google, then it's going to be one of those circumstances where who is this person? They don't even exist. So clearly, there's there's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of different details to be considered, and there's a lot of things that um, you may find yourself struggling to understand. There's a lot of information for me to give out in this particular video right now, and it's not going to be possible for me to cover all the bases. There's lots of information for you to know. There's lots of information for me to share. It's a step-by-step -step thing. Different people are at different places in their, in, their, in their career, in their life. Everybody has a different understanding of different things. So it's a very, very individual circumstance. It's very hard to have a system in place already that is able to help everyone there are so many different variables involved that can confuse you that can disappoint you that can discourage you and you don't want to get into a place where it's constantly happening that way you want to be in a place where you're getting the answers you're getting the results you're making progress and you're getting into a place where you can actually see results if you're not seeing results you're not going to keep going and, and that is going to be the end of your network marketing career and we don't want that to happen to you because you've chosen to start a business when you choose to do network marketing. What the business is going to be is a huge different thing. There's all kinds of different things you can do. And you need to be able to be in a place where you're comfortable with that. So keep in mind that you're when you're focusing on how it is you're doing what you're doing, that you're having fun. Have some fun. If it's a grind, then, then you're missing some details, you're, you're not seeing results, and there's challenges you're going to face that keep you wondering, why the hell am I doing this? Understand that that is a lot of people feel that way. Don't beat yourself up. It's not easy to be a network marketer. There's lots of different things you got to learn. You are going to make mistakes at the beginning, and you're going to make, make mistakes later on. You're never going to get it right all the time. Understand that, accept it, be willing to realize that this is the truth, this is the way it works, and it's not a disaster. It just is what it is, and you're in a place where you can learn when you're because you're in this group. You can reach out to anybody. You can post in the group. You can uh, reach out to me personally. Uh, I, I'd love to take you on as an individual, as, as a coaching um, client, to help you with your mindset, with the business that you're building, 
I can help you pick a different affiliate program. I can help you choose what it is that you may want to sell uh, and how you may want to sell it. I can help you set up your payment portal. Uh, I can teach you everything you need to know about being a successful network marketer. But you need to reach out to me. I can't teach it to you like this. You need to get help. You need to have a mentor. You need to have a coach. You need to have a system. You need to have a community. And you've got the community. You've got the coach. You've got the system. But you need to, to be able to ask specific questions because you are unique. You are your own person. You're not going to know everything you need to know right away. And there's going to be things that as you go forward, you're going to go like, what the hell is this? What do I do? It's called analysis paralysis. And you're going to get into a place where you keep searching for answers, searching for answers, search, and doing nothing. That is not going to serve you. Be in a place where you understand why you're doing what you're doing, how you need to do it, who you're doing it with, who you're selling to, all these different things. And please reach out to me. I know you're in this group to ask for these things. You're in the group. Ask. Do a post like I mentioned a few moments ago. Reach out to me because it's it's uh, it, it, there's so many details. And there's so much that you need to know. And I need to know what you already know, what your skill level is, what your understanding of what you're doing is, what your mindset is where you are financially, where you are professionally, all these different things matter. And it's a challenge to start a business if you're not sure what you need to do next. So that's why I'm here. This is what I do. And I would love to be uh, in a place where I can just guide you a little bit and take away some of the confusion, take away some of the frustration. Uh, when I started out, it was, I thought I could do it all myself. And I tried to do it myself. And I got into a place where I struggled and uh, I, I didn't give up, obviously, or I wouldn't be here right now. But the challenge is very, very real when you're trying to start out network marketing. There's lots of stuff to know. There's lots of tools to use. The world is changing quickly. What used to be the best yesterday is not even available tomorrow and so on and so forth. There's so much change and, and you need to learn how to change with it. You need to learn how to be the person that is able to take that on and be that person. So, my friends, I'm hoping this helped you. Uh, by all means, like I said, reach out for help. Ask anybody in the group for help. Post in the group for help. And just reach out and ask questions. What do I do next? What do I do with this? What's the best email um, system, the CRM? There's so many tools, so many techniques. Don't get bogged down by details get lifted up by the fact that you're going to build a business and you're going to make money and you're going to change your life. Much love to you, my friends. I hope this helped. And uh, by all means, like I say, reach out, ask for help. Be that person that's able to ask for help because you're going to need it and you're going to realize that I can't do this alone because you can't. There's no such thing as doing things alone today. You're going to need to build things up. You're eventually going to need a team. You're eventually going to need to have employees, VAs. You might even want to get into some automation, which is becoming more pre more and more prevalent today. I'm going to be having a speaker on who talks about automation in the next little while. And, of course, there's there's voice automation. There's, there's bot automation. Uh, and you want to make sure that you don't seem like you're spamming because this is, again, another issue. If you don't know what spamming is, that's just, boom, throwing out your link and hoping that, you know, it's like the machine gun, blah, 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 and hoping that something's going to land. It's not. People don't like to be spammed, and you need to understand that you have to build a relationship to build a business. All right, my friend, I hope this helped. I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see your posts, your questions, and, and have you reach out to me so that you know who to ask or what to ask or s the simple fact that you need to ask. Have a great day, you magnificent manifestors. Welcome to the network marketing world. The fun has begun. Ha, 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 ha.